What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. This is the first TCGO video that we've had in a long time. I did get away from the game when Guardians Rising came out, but I've recently been trying to get back in, and this game was just way too close to, uh, to pass up uploading it. Um, so this was done, this was taken from the stream that I did on Wednesday. And if you're interested in those streams, you can check out the link in the description. We were streaming with a couple of our new friends, Miss Curious Cleffa and Mr. Time Woven. It was an incredible time. We had so much fun, and we're probably going to do it uh, every week. So what we did at the end of the tournament is we all joined, uh, or at the end of the stream, is we all joined a tournament together in hopes of battling each other. Now, First up, Mr. Time Woven and I faced off, and I shut him out in the first round, in the first turn, and I think I won on turn two. Um, this was my second round match against, as you can see, Rayquaza997. Now, this match is sped up four times uh, because it was a full 25 minute match. I'll go ahead and spoil that just a little bit. I'll try not to spoil too much. Uh, I'm not sure what title I'm going to make this, but the title might give away what happens. But let's go ahead and start watching through this. So again, this was done on stream, and as you can see, I don't start off very strong. I start off with a Shaman, uh, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm facing off against a Water Deck. So I'm thinking maybe Lapras, I'm thinking maybe um, Greninja, and it turns out to be... A Greninja deck. So I'm, I'm very confident in the Greninja matchup. I think that Decidueye Vileplume should 100% of the time beat um, uh, Greninja. So I'm feeling pretty confident except that I start off with Shaman and I only have Lugia on the bench. So um, the deck that I'm using is John Kettler's version of the deck. It's exactly his deck list from Worlds that he got, or from uh, Internationals that he got second place with. Um, so let's go ahead, I'll, I'll, I'll stop pausing it as much, but uh, he has a decent setup, so I know that he's going to be going for those the water duplicates this next turn. So I'm going to see what I can do um, to get as set up as I can on this first turn and maybe, maybe even start damaging some stuff. So um, that end kind of messed me up, it only got me... Well, it didn't get me much, but I have one uh, one Decidueye set up, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling okay. Um, <sighs> and the music that we're jamming to today is the X and Y Pokemon League Remix um, by Glitch X City. Make sure the link is in the description. Make sure to check her videos out. So there's the water duplicates. We're now up against four Frogadier, which I'm still really not upset. I'm not too concerned about. Uh, with 240 hit points, Decidueye is not going to go down very quickly. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get uh, I haven't been able to get Vileplume out, and I kind of abandoned that idea altogether throughout this game. So he has one Greninja up, and I'm kind of I'm trying to figure out what he's planning on doing now. He's using Bursting Balloon. I'm very familiar with this. I think in the past I've uploaded some... Um... No, actually I haven't. I used to use Greninja, I guess, before I started uploading. So I'm very familiar with the deck. But as you can see, our hand... We have three Decidueyes sitting in our hand. And we just nothing, no way to do anything because I was silly and filled up my entire bench. Um, that Rowlet that I have down that you can see there is going to play a factor. I should have... Um, I think I should have maybe prioritized getting Vile Plume out, but <clears throat> uh, I go ahead and use my Hollow Hunt just because I wanted to get N because I didn't want to be stuck. And of course, he's going to end me, but right there, like I said, his giant water shuriken takes out my Rowlet, so he gets his first prize card. Again, not the worst thing that's ever happened. And that N was a lot better. So with that N, I can start to do some things. I do have two float stones. I wish I would have played them a little differently, but <clears throat> he switches out. The smart thing to do. So his Greninja break is, uh, yeah, his Greninja break is safe. I go ahead and pull N, and you can see right there, I put both of my float stones on the Shaman. I guess because I was concerned about him using. Uh, using Lysander to pull those up. I didn't want them to go to be locked up front. Um, so I put float stones on them, which <sighs> I wish I wouldn't have done. 
And then I take out his uh, Greninja. You know, Greninja is weak against grass. So that's why I'm very confident in this matchup. I do enough to uh, to destroy his Greninja break in one, in one attack. <clears throat> and now I have Dartrix on the bench. Dartrix won't go down to one giant water shuriken. So I'm feeling okay. <clears throat> and then he starts aiming for my active Decidueye, and he uses Shadow Stitch. So Shadow Stitching makes it so that uh, I can't use my abilities this turn. So in this turn, I can't use my uh, my Feather Arrow, which isn't a huge deal. <clears throat> but if you look right now, you can see the time. I'm winning by more than a minute at this point. So his Greninja Break is down. Again, I'm feeling great. I see his... Um, actually, no. I'm actually not feeling great. Uh, just looking at the looking at the field right now, I'm not feeling too great because he's about to take out my uh, my active Decidueye, and I don't have I don't have another one. I can Sycamore in the next turn, uh, but you know he just put Articuno out. I'm kind of feeling like he's gonna start taking the lead, especially after uh, what he does in this turn. So he Greninja breaks. He's gonna hit. He takes out my Decidueye, and you can see on my face right there, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty defeated. But, I, <clears throat> I start taking a little too much time. You can see right now, I'm winning by two minutes. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is the first time that I've watched this back since the stream happened. So, um, I know that I can't really do much, um, so all I do is I try to get as many Decidueye ready to go, uh, and you can see my hand there. My hand's not bad. My hand isn't bad. I, I can get another Decidueye. I, sh I should be able to get another Decidueye, uh, but with that Lugia active, that's what kind of hurts me. If I would have kept my Float Stones, there's a chance I could have drawn into them, put it on the Lugia, because uh, I just don't need Lugia in this game. I really don't. And then there I use my level ball, but all of my Dartrix, none of my Dartrix are available. So now I have this, um, I have this Rowlet sitting on the bench, uh, which just, uh, he can snipe, he can snipe Rowlet with one, uh, with one giant water shuriken. So I have to pass that turn. Now, this is the turn, I, I thought it was over, because in my head all he's going to do, whoops, sorry about that, all he's going to do is uh, evolve his... Um, his Greninja into Greninja Break, and then he can snipe off my. Uh, he can snipe off the Rowlet, take one prize card, switch into his other Greninja Break, Giant Water Shirk into Lugia, and then hit the Lugia, and I lose. So at that point, I, I kind of have lost hope. But you can see there, the video is only halfway over. Um, so he makes a very interesting play by Giant Water Shirking. The Decidueye. And you can see my face. I was like, what? What? What is he doing? I don't know what he was thinking there. Um, but at that point, I kind of, I, I got this, I got hope in my mind that I can potentially win. And then he goes for it again. All he had to do is snipe off Rowlet and he would be down to two prize cards. But I don't know what he's doing. Um, he can hit me, but he goes for Shadow Sneak. So again, he's scared about my, uh, my Decidueye using... Um, he's scared of my Decidueye using that Feather Arrow. So there I draw the card that I need. I draw the, um, I draw the double colorless energy. So I think what I do here, I think actually this is the turn where I, I spend way too much time thinking. And you can see I'm still up by two minutes. This hurts me to watch. He calls the win right there. He calls, he said, woo, that was close. He calls the win. But I thought about it, so I decided to retreat. I retreat into Decidueye, which was probably not the smart decision, but I can take out this Greninja Break, and that's all I can do in this turn. So, um, again, I'm, I'm thinking that I lost. I'm thinking it's over. There's no hope. <clears throat> I didn't mention, if I win this, I go on to play Miss Curious Cleffa in the final. She made it to the final, and I wanted to get there to play her because that would have been the, the the best way to end the match but I start thinking okay maybe I can do this maybe I can do this okay he takes out my Decidueye so that means he's down to one prize card and I have a Rowlet sitting on the bench that's not a good sign 
So I don't remember exactly what I do here. I think what I do is I put Lele up, but I spend way too much time thinking. <clears throat> I have nothing left in my deck. I have no Dark Tricks. I have nothing. So I use my first Lysander to pull up his Regice. So I think at this point I might have noticed, you can see he only has four cards left in his deck. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for the deck out. Uh, but now I'm only winning by a minute. You can see right now it's already closed the gap down to a minute winning. I attached the grass energy to my Lele. I don't remember exactly what my thought process was there. But basically if he can retreat his red ice in any way, he wins. Because all he has to do is snipe off my Rowlet. So let's see what happens here. He puts one energy, but he can't do anything, so he passes. So this is good. This is looking okay. He has three cards left in his deck. So I'm thinking, I think what I did a couple turns ago is I, I checked out his deck, and I think he had seven water energies in his discard pile. So I'm thinking he's probably out of energy cards. He's probably almost out of cards in general. So I'm thinking there's no way he's going to get three energies onto his reg ice to retreat it. But there's the second one. And he versus Seekers up in N, and the game continues on. Now, when he uses N, he only has one card drawn. He has seven cards in his deck, so there's still a chance. You can see now I'm winning only by, I'm winning by almost a minute and a half now. So, um, unfortunately, I spend so much time sitting here thinking, and I, and I shouldn't have. I, I should have, I should have passed on. So right now I'm winning by a minute. Man, I'm reading this and I just don't, I don't, I don't remember what happened here. But I start passing turns. I pass turns a little quicker. At this point, I'm only winning by 45 seconds. Um, so I should have. Um, so that was my thought process. My thought process was, okay, his Red Ice has two energies. If he gets one more energy, he can retreat it and he wins the game. So I, I Lysander up as Articuno. At this point, I'm winning by, what is that? 26 seconds? Uh, I spent way too much time thinking. I spent way too much time thinking. Now he's thinking as well, and I don't know if he's thought about the time. Because he just hit a minute left. Okay, now he has one more versus Seeker. He versus Seeker's N. So I, I should have realized right then that I wasn't going to win by a deck out. Uh, even though I, I'm, I'm, I have 10 cards, he has 4, I could still win by deck out. But I should have been passing my turn. I should have just passed the turn and not worried about anything. And that's exactly what I did. I'm winning currently by over 30 seconds, about 40 seconds. And I start ending my turn. And he, he drew another water energy and used it to pull back his Articuno so he can Ice Beam my Lele. I, I see now that he's trying to kill my Lele. So I'm like, okay, uh, I, I can still win, but I should have ended the turn immediately. I shouldn't have thought about it. I'm only winning by 20 seconds now. He Ice Beams. He doesn't paralyze. So at this point, I should have immediately retreated, which I did. It looks like I did. But you can see my time. I'm now losing. So I spent way too much time there. And I'm just going to let the rest of it play out. He goes for N. In my head, I am still thinking about it. But at this point, Cleffa said something about the time. I realized it. But you, if you notice, and you'll see why my facial reaction happened there. I want to back up just a little bit. If you watch the time when he ice beams, watch the time when he uses his ice beam. So, my, so the clock was running for me. Wait, why was the clock running for me? I didn't notice that before. Hold on a second. So, is that because my computer was behind or something? Like, the time was, the clock was running after he used N. And then when he used Ice Beam, my clock is running. He uses Ice Beam and my clock is running. I, I just don't understand what happened there. You can't see it was a very heartbreaking loss. I was super upset. Because I should have won. Now, Curious Cleffa did revenge me. She did win the tournament, but I, it should have been me. There's a couple things that I could have done better. One, I could, I should have noticed the time when I was up by two minutes. It would have been a very easy win after I changed things around. Um, but then it was just very weird how it was calling my when when he was using Ice Beam, my time was going down. It was very unfortunate. But that is going to be it for this TCGO video. Again, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. There will be some more Pokemon TCGO coming to the channel. 
And again, you can check out the stream link in the description below, as well as links to Curious Cleffa and Time Woven's uh, information will be there as well. And we will see you in the next Pokemon TCGO video. Until then, have a blessed day.